Amri. So guys, today I'm meeting um, two Cameroonian YouTubers, Elstar Africa and Cliveto. So we're actually at a place beside River Vuri. This is my first time of meeting another YouTuber and so it's going to be fun guys. Just stay connected. I'm going to give you guys my experience when I first got here in Douala. When I came here, I wanted to do a passport. So I went to um, immigration there at Bonanjo. I went in to do my passport. I'd given my documents, everything. See guys, I cannot speak French. <laughs> I'm not speaking French. Like I, I don't know if I'm deliberately stopping myself from speaking the French. But yeah, I cannot speak French. So I went in. I gave my document. The woman that came out asked me that, Chaffee me. I was like, we. Oui. I answered we oui because I thought that the female means, am I a female? I don't know that she was asking. <laughs> I don't know that she was asking to know if, I, if I'm actually taking a picture. I'm waiting. People are only entering, thinking oh I'm going God. out. Entering, I'm going out. I'm then waiting. I'm like, I went and asked her again that, Ma, I'm not taking my picture. You said this is my man that is your. <laughs> I asked the job female, you said me. <laughs> I had a shock of my life. I can never forget that experience. I can, I can, I can imagine the weight. See, it was so easy. I laughed on you. don't know what's happening. You are here, people are just entering. See, people kept entering, doing their own. I was one of the first people that got there that day, and I was like, why is it that people are doing their own and they are not letting me do mine now? And then she came and asked me the photo. So I see me, I said, we. Oui. <laughs> In my heart, I don't know she was asking me that, are you a female? Oh, but I was like, why was this woman that? asking me that, are you a female? When she when, when, me, I'm a female. She was actually taking your photo. She was actually asking, are you taking your photo? <laughs> That's how the first time will always look like for most people. Like, see, for most people. Mm -hmm. Like when I first came here, I remember I was selling. That was sometime in 2016, so holidays. I was selling. One day I took a taxi, like when I was coming back around 6 30 to 7 in the evening. When I came, I did not even know me that way. You want to open the taxi? I was coming from the village. Ah, you know what this means. Man, I just opened the thing without the taxi might even tell me that open or without even me trying to look behind what was happening as i was opening one guy coming with a bike had to just hit on the door and he fell on the other side that's how that place was crowded i mean you can imagine how i would feel but like that feeling for someone who just coming i, I, I was, I was shaking i just it's i was so easy really now. shaking like man <laughs> and the funny thing is that the next day I had to see this guy again. I don't believe that I've never seen him. <laughs> I saw him with a wound that he had plastered on his finger. I was like, man. <laughs> and one other thing is that when I got home, I did not tell anybody about what happened. I kept it like a secret. Because I thought that maybe when I would say it, I would be the, like, they'll be mad at me. And uh, I mean, you get it. Yeah, especially after I came to this town. Like French was something that um, where I was in the in this, uh, part of the country, you just always learn it in, in, in class, and I was not taking it serious. I never knew that that times that I would need to travel and go to places where they speak French. So I remember um, there was a time when I came here. The only things I knew in French were just the things they were teaching in class. Um, good morning, bonjour, and the rest. So I never. Knew. So today my auntie sent me to go and transfer her airtime flight. I went to the place, the woman that was there asked me that to la money. Oh my god. <laughs> Actually, yeah, money. money means um, um, like change, like, you have money. change. So me, I, I told her she asked me that I'm not having money. money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> so I was like, oui. I was like, yes, yes, yes. I just said, j'ai money. I so, said, yes, I'm having money. How can I be coming to transfer credit to well, I don't have money? money. <laughs> So I was like, yeah, then she did everything, she did everything I gave her. She said, but you said you had money. money. <laughs> so now she was like speaking very fast in French. I was just confused. And then I was, I was not understanding. And most happening. of times, like that, she's already mad. She's yeah, already so mad. There are these people that they don't, people, have they don't have patience. So no I was like, when oh, they're please. angry, they're angry. <laughs> they don't have time to negotiate. <laughs> me. Oh, there was one day I, I break a, a bike. Um, I was going somewhere around town. So I was trying to communicate in French. The man was an English person. So he was like, he spoke to me in English. That, 
Cameroon is a bilingual country. If you cannot speak French, speak English. Mm-hmm. From that day, I was not stressing again. When I go yes. anywhere, I speak in English. If you don't understand English, but I try not to communicate with me in French. That's it. Because I realize that now, even here, if you want to buy in Bonaben, it's not going to be that difficult because yeah, hey. these people know how to speak English. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When you try to speak that way, you're just trying for your own good, that maybe you should learn some words yeah. correctly. But when you meet those autotones, those people that have refused to correct wow. you, hey! They will just die. They will <laughs> insult you. I don't know why they always use this word, that I don't know. Yeah. Is Bamenda a bad thing? Because. I want funny things that when they're always saying the Bamenda, like. Most of them cannot even speak the English. Yeah, is it there? I mean, like, I've even tried to speak the French. Yeah. You cannot even try to speak the English and as well as like, yeah. It's so uh, funny. Bamenda. But then, I want to say one thing that if you're coming to Douala like for your first time, forget about this thing of struggling to speak French <laughs> when you cannot speak. Speak your English. Yes. Some people will try to respond to you in the English. If, don't try to be like, oh, I went to school, I have to speak in good English. No, no, no. Speak in broken English. That's pidgin. That is pidgin it. Because here, many people are very much versed with the pidgin. And I mean, even people yeah. who cannot speak the English so well try to yeah, manage in the pidgin. And I mean, so don't come and hey, start being like. Good yeah, morning, you know, these people, they, they, they preferably like they speak in pidgin. Yeah. But a kind of pidgin that it takes time to yeah. understand. A kind of pidgin that is difficult <laughs> to digest. My neighbor's child came to tell me that, you know, the, the mother came to tell me that one of my sons in the house has beaten the daughter. I'm like, she came and met me, I was like, auntie, they don't kill you. I'm like, kill you, how? <laughs> because I've seen the daughter, she's alive, she's doing well, and the mother said, they don't kill you. And she's crying, I'm like, they don't kill you, how? How? That's to find out that I've beaten the <laughs> girl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very, very see language see the highest thing that is difficult on this planet is communication communication problem language <laughs> barrier can send you to hell <laughs> like when i try speaking the french is more than me i mix the thing with if you can understand you under if you don't understand that's your problem but one good thing is that at least i can tell you that okay my name is this in french i come from this place i live here i live at least i think that those are some of the essentials we went to his football stadium to go and watch the match. So the stadium was really, really empty. So I met these guys there. Um, actually, I was very new to that. I just, the, the way the guys were friendly, I was like, wow, it's really nice to see people are friendly. And he approached me and said, um, this view is really great. You can take it. You can give me your phone. Let me take your photo the view of the stadium. So I gave them my phone. The guy said, move, move a bit down so that I can get it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I was smiling. I said, wow, this guy is really kind. This guy is really kind. Said, I went down on the guy said, go. And I was, I was going, he was climbing. That was cool. I never, I never, I came, I was like confused. The guy vanished. See, these people are smart. Like, when I have to take something from you, now, the smartness is just overwhelming. From hey, guys, day, before you enjoy all these vibes, eh, subscribe. Yeah, hey. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe. Mm? And click that bell, bell yeah. icon. That, that bell, bell icon important. Like, is important and necessary. So that anytime we upload new and interesting videos like this one, yeah. you won't miss out on them. The life here is actually something different from what is in my mind. You know, like when you are going somewhere, you have this view, this imagination, yeah. you feel like everybody is okay, they will be nice to you. Imagine when I first got here, I greeted one woman, bonjour. Because I knew that bonjour is good morning. I'm like, okay, bonjour. The way she shouted at me, it was like I did something really wrong to her that I needed to apologize. <laughs> ah. She shouted at me. I've even greeted so many people on the way and they've not responded to me. I'm like, good morning. And they're just, they're just going, I think. Uh, like when I got here, I just noticed that that's how life here is. Like, you don't care much about the person you meet on the road or even. At times, your neighbors, you even greet and no response. But that's just the way they are. For you, you might think it, you, you might take it as an offense, but then it's something normal. Yeah. They have their style, mind your business. Yeah. Yeah. So they feel like, what's going on with me? If I don't want to share with you, you shouldn't yeah. bother asking me. You just know what. And yeah. And, 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 and when, you, <coughs> when you have that kind of experience, for them, they just forget about it. It's you that maybe when you come from somewhere that you know, your neighbor, you greet people. That if you don't even greet people, it's like uh, it's a disrespect. But yeah, we don't really care that much. Okay, like for you watching, <laughs> what was your experience? Probably when you left your comfort zone to another area, 
not probably in Cameroon, like probably you might be in a different country, all of that. So just leave a comment and tell us what your experience was like. like just share it with others and many people will learn from it. Like someone might be, might have been wanting to come to where you live and might learn from that experience. So don't hesitate to leave a comment. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Yes, and share guys. Share yeah. to your family members, friends, your church people. Share with them. <laughs>